I think, first of all, we we are a little bit, I mean, me, Carlos, and Holger, we are a little bit, every, every one of us is a different player. Um, uh, I feel like that also mentally everyone is is different and the attitude on the court is different, but that what I think we have in common is that we we believe in ourselves in one way and um and this helps a lot because in, in tennis when you believe it's 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 a huge amount already but uh, I think we are we have to be really lucky to see him around that we can see what he's doing how he's practicing um Hopefully Rafa is coming back, so I can see also him. I uh, I had the privilege to watch him when when I was in Adelaide with him. Um, Roger, unfortunately, I've I've never had the chance to, but it's uh, it is what it is. Um, but in another way, I feel like that talking about my part is that I all, always try to learn from them and then trying to get something from from them, no, and and and. This has been always my my part of the process, and the process we are making is it's not finished yet because I feel like that we still have to improve a lot. So happy to be here, happy to play my first final here in Melbourne. But in my mind, I know that I I can and still have to improve. So it's it's it's, it's good to have him around. Okay. Yeah, you seemed very relaxed. When you finished the match and when you won, you, you didn't celebrate too big. I wonder, is that deliberate? Is it something that you try not to let your emotions get the best of you? And or maybe the handbrake does come off. What happens when you get really excited? I don't know. Um, it's. I feel like this kind of emotions you cannot control. No, it's it's if if someone uh, celebrates in one way, you you celebrate because this is the emotion what you are feeling now. No and. Obviously, it means so much to me to to beat Novak uh, here here in Melbourne. But in the other way, I know that that the tournament is not over. Sunday is a uh, is a final. It's uh, different emotions because the final is always different. It doesn't really matter the how big the tournament is. So it's. You know, I in my mind today I knew that it was semi-final. It's 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 not that that you win the tournament like this. So I'm I'm looking forward for Sunday and let's see what's coming. So if you win on Sunday, the shirt's coming off, full fist bump and everything. This uh, let's see what's what will bring us Sunday. Okay. Yannick, congrats on reaching your first ever Grand Slam final. Just when you lost that match point. Uh, you know, sorry, that set point opportunity. What was going through your mind, and how did you regroup after that in the fourth set? Yeah, it's it's not easy because you are so close, and then you, in your mind, is that the way is long still. Um, but in the other way, I, I I sat down. I I tried to think also that the score was two sets to one for me, so it was it was positive. And um, I just tried to to start again the set in a good way. I, w I was serving, I hold serve, and I was up already in the score. No? So I, I, I tried to stay really um, focused about, about the goal I had today, which was a good game plan. And, and hopefully the, I was hoping that the, that the execution were, were working. And, um, and that's it. Um, obviously, four set, I... When I when I broke him, it's it was um, a positive feeling, and um, happy that I that I could could finish the match. John, well done. Um, Novak said that he hadn't played a Grand Slam match as badly for a long time. Did you feel that? you played the perfect match against him or did you get a sense that he also maybe wasn't up to the level that he has been when you've played him before? Yeah, for sure. The, the first two sets, um, I saw that he was not hitting the ball uh, as he used to. Um, uh, he was also not moving that 
that well, no. And then, then I think he was not also not that focused like like we used to to see him, no. Um, so I saw this, but in another way, being number one, you have to be ready for that he changed things up and 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 that he has done in the in the four in the third set. The level there was even. Um, he's also maybe the best returner we have in the game. He didn't have one one break point. So it's you know, these are stats what are unusual for, for him. So um but in the other way this uh this can happen. You know, in tennis when you have a bad day it's it's also tough to to get out as as a winner, no? Um so I I realized especially the first sets he was not playing playing that great, but I tried to have the, the intensity as high as possible. Um and I and I took the chance. Yanni, you you talked for several years now about being patient, about this process you're on, and where did you learn that, and how hard has it been for you to be patient and to to understand that you would steadily get better, and that one day you might actually be here because <laughs> other people have gotten there before you. Yeah, um, the patient can be your biggest your biggest enemy in one way because it's if you're not that patient um it uh you rush in one way and then and, and, and you forget maybe some steps what you should do um to become a better player to become better physically um and then at some point i don't know in in, in I feel like the the level what we are seeing now from, from from my side is because of a whole year of work and 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 the process what we have made to to become the best version what I am right now. Um, but in the other way, as I said, I, I I still know that I can improve many things. So my 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 way is is not finished yet. Um, but in another way, you patience is is. is it's not easy to handle. It's uh, it's also kind of practice in one way. Last three. Um, uh, Darren Cale's been part of your coaching team. Um, his ability as a strategist is well known, but does he also have a calming effect at this sort of stage of the tournament given the experience he has with major winners and world number ones? Yeah, for sure. He's always very relaxed. Um, even this morning, you know, we, we talk about normal things, not always about tennis. And then this 20 minutes before the match, we talk about tactics, how to handle certain situations. And I think he helped not only me, but I think the whole team to to believe in ourselves, um, but also to to enjoy because it's it's um, we travel so much around the world and um, to enjoy the the time together is, is is really important, and I think the combination of, with him and also um, with Simone is awesome on the court. And uh, and I think at the moment we are handling everything in the in the right way. Uh, there is a stat that is driving me crazy. Uh, Carlos Alcaraz won um, Novak Djokovic on Wimbledon. Exactly, uh, 2,195 uh, 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 days after his last uh, uh, defeat there. And now you have won Novak Djokovic on Australia, exactly 2,195 days after his last uh, defeat. Do you think this victory was written somewhere or uh, it was a day to, to win uh, Novak? <laughs> <laughs> If it would be that easy, you know? <laughs> just watching some numbers, but <laughs> it's uh, no. Obviously, it's I don't know really what to <laughs> what to answer on that. Um, I watched the match of Carlos. It was uh, an incredible match there. Um, yeah, I I don't know what what to say. <laughs> Last one, I don't know. Hi, Yannick. Uh, obviously, the, the big three have been so dominant at the Grand Slams. I was just wondering 
Carlos managing to win a couple, did that in any way encourage you that you could do it? Or was there a match or a, a moment where you believed that you could win a Grand Slam? Uh, I think it's... Mm, you, you win the matches... Uh, not only on on that day you win it because you you feel prepared for for a good fight you feel prepared mentally and and and, and also physically um i think after last year especially end of the year give gave me confidence that i could potentially do uh, some 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 good results in in grand slams um but in the other way you 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 still have to show it. No, it's um, there are people who who talk uh, a lot, but in, you have to show it now because at the end of the day you you're going on the court and you have to play. But if it's not this year, it's uh, it's next year, and then and then if it's not next year, it's 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 the next year again. No, I'm I'm, I'm really relaxed to be honest. I. I just try to to work as hard as possible, and, and in my mind, I feel like that the hard work always pays off in in one way, and and we are working really hard for for our dreams. And uh, if this can happen, it's good. If not, I I gave a hundred percent, and the rest I I cannot control now. So obviously, I'm really happy about Carlos, what he has made, and and, and what he's doing. Um, when we play against potentially it's always a a good a good matchup and um but at the moment we also have to say that he is further than i am he won he won many thousand events he won some some slams already so i have a lot of respect for him and um i wish him all the best